Okay, hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to all of you party students of the class. Okay, Alhamdulillah, we meet again. You are with me, Chisa. And today we are going to have our online English class as usual. Okay, so how are you guys doing today? Okay, it's been a long time since we last met. Okay, so I hope all of you are doing good. Right, please remain healthy, eat healthy foods and also stay safe at all times. Alright, so let's continue our lesson. Okay, let's continue our English class by taking your first book which is English Reader Book 2. Okay, English Reader Book 2 and turn to page 12. Okay, so we are going to continue where we stopped from last class. Okay, but before that, please write down the date and the date on top of your book. Okay, so as usual, we are having our English class on Tuesday. Okay, so today is Tuesday and the date is 7. Okay, 7th of September 2021. Alright, so today kids, we are going to learn a new subtopic. Okay, for this unit which is taste of food rasa makanan how does the food taste okay in this page there are four pictures okay so we have the first one here second third picture and the last picture okay. we are going to go through one by one looking at the picture and also read the sentence okay so let's do it together the first picture here is a little girl okay who is taking a sip of the drink while holding the glass okay let's read the sentence this apple juice is sweet okay i repeat this apple juice is sweet juice apple ini manis okay Sweet in Malay is called manis. In second picture down below, we have a picture of a man who is eating a slice of orange. Okay, the sentence is, this orange is sour. Okay, I repeat, this orange is sour. Buah orange ini masap. Sour in Malay is called masap. Okay, as you can see, the look on his face, he is squirting his face, okay? Expressing that the taste of the orange is sour. Okay, third picture. Down here, we have the picture of a woman who is tasting this coffee. Okay, the sentence is, this coffee is bitter. I repeat, this coffee is bitter kopi ini pahit right bitter in Malay is called pahit look at the facial expression here okay the woman does not like the bitter taste of the coffee the last picture here is a picture of a little boy who is tasting a piece of crisp okay the sentence is this crisp are Salty. Okay, I repeat. These crisps are salty. Okay, keropo ini masin. Right? Salty in Malay is called masin. Okay, so look at the facial expression of the boy. Okay, he does not like the salty taste of the crisp. Okay, so all in we have four tastes of food. Okay, first we have sweet. Manis Second, we have sour Masam Third, we have bitter Pahit And the last one, we have salty Masin Alright Okay, now We are going to do an exercise Okay From your second book Which is English Activity Book 2 Okay, take your second book And turn to page 12 Right. so as usual, I want you to write down the date and the date on top of your book. Okay, today is Tuesday and the date is 
27th of September 2021. Alright, now let's read the instruction for this page. Okay, color the boxes that have the correct words to complete the sentences. Warnakan kotak-kotak yang mempunyai perkataan-perkataan yang betul untuk melengkapkan ayat-ayat berikut. Alright, so in this page, we have two sentences. Okay, so the first sentence here and the second sentence here. Okay, what is this? Right, this is a slice of cake. Okay, this is a picture of a cake. Alright, so the sentence is This cake is Alright, so the options that we have here are sweet and also bitter manis dan pahit Okay, so which one is the correct answer? This cake is sweet Cake ini manis Or This cake is bitter Cake ini Pahit. So, which one is the correct answer? That's right. The answer is sweet. Okay. So, this is the answer. Okay. So, let's tick at the right answer. Okay. Now, how about the second sentence? Okay. What picture is this? Yes. It is a cup of coffee. Hot coffee. Alright. So, the sentence is this coffee is salty or bitter. Kopi ini masin atau pahit. So, which one is the correct answer? Yes, that's right. The answer is bitter. Okay, this coffee is bitter. Kopi ini pahit. Okay, kopi will always taste bitter. Let's take the answer for the second sentence. Alright. So, we are done with the two sentences. Okay. So, once we have ticked the correct answer, you have to color the boxes that you have chose. Okay. So, you have to color the word sweet and also bitter. Okay. Next, the second instruction. Okay. For this page is, draw a food item that tastes Sour Okay, lukis sejenis makanan yang rasanya Masak Alright, so what are the food? What are the example of food That you can think of? Okay, so we have For example, we have lemon Okay, lemon taste Sour And Then we have pickles Okay, pickles Jeruk in Malay What else? Oh, we have pineapple Okay, pineapple nenas. Okay, pineapple also tastes sour. And then we have orange. Okay, many more. Okay, you can draw any of the food. Okay, that I mentioned just now. In the box provided. Okay, once you are done with drawing the food that you want. Next, I want you to color the food. Okay, color the food beautifully. And show it to your teacher. Alright kids, I am now done with my work. Okay, I have colored the word sweet for the first sentence and the word bitter for the second sentence. And then I have drawn a picture of lemons. Okay, two lemons here that taste sour. Okay, and I've colored them. Alright, so please I want to see your work too. Okay, please complete your work and Show it to your teacher once you are done. Okay, so that's all for today's lesson. A very simple lesson that we have. I hope you learned something from my video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And thank you for doing my work. I shall see you on next Tuesday, inshallah. Okay, as usual for our online English class. Till then, Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye.